Welcome to the Creating Enterprise One Pages in Enterprise One tutorial. Enterprise One Pages are the first screen that end users see when they log into Enterprise One. Right now, you can see the Enterprise One page entitled Order to Cash. Enterprise One Pages are created using the Enterprise One Page Manager. For the Enterprise One Page content, you can either link to a URL or upload an HTML zip file that contains the necessary files for the Enterprise One page. Please note that in order to create and modify Enterprise One pages, you must have been given the appropriate permissions by your administrator. Let's create a new Enterprise One page. To do so, we will need to access the Enterprise One page manager. On the right side of the banner bar at the top of the screen in Enterprise One, we see the user personal information by clicking on the down arrow next to the user ID. Under the personalization category, select Manage Pages and the E1 Page Manager tab displays. For now, leave the value in the name field as Create. We will provide a name when we save the Enterprise One page. Enter the product code that you want to associate with the Enterprise One page. For our example, we will use 55. This is the code that Oracle recommends you use for customized Enterprise One pages. Enter a description for your Enterprise One page. This is the text that displays when you hover over the tab name. We will enter customer service as our description. Choose the page type by selecting either page URL or upload HTML content. Page URL enables you to enter a URL to which you want to take the end user. For example, enter the URL for the Oracle Learning Library, or OLL, so that our customer service representatives can access documentation and training on the software that they support. I have copied the URL address for OLL in order to keep this tutorial short and avoid my typing errors, and I will go ahead and paste it into the Enter Page URL field. After you enter the page URL, click Verify URL to trigger the validation process. As you can see, the URL verification is successful. Click OK. You can also click View URL to see a preview of how the Enterprise One page will look. And now you can see up here we have our preview open, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. For this example, we want our customer service representatives to be able to perform their support tasks and access open cases that they are working on. So instead of using a URL link, we are going to upload HTML content that will enable them to do this. We have previously created some HTML content specifically for this purpose. When we select the Upload HTML Content page type, the Browse, Upload, View Content, and Download buttons display. Click the Browse button to locate the HTML zip file that you want to upload. Our file is entitled CSS Service. Once you find your zip file, go ahead and select it and click Open. The name of the file now appears next to the Browse button. Next, click the Upload button to add the content to the Enterprise One page. You'll see a File Uploaded Successfully message. Go ahead and click OK. Finally, click the View Content button to see a preview of your Enterprise One page with the HTML content. And there we have our preview. The Download button is used to create a zip file with all of the HTML content of the current page. This feature helps to restore source information that may have been lost. To finish creating your new Enterprise One page, click the Save icon and then enter a name for your page. 
we will enter customer service as our name. Click OK. Once you have created your page, it appears under the personal heading. At this point, it is available only to you. You can modify the Enterprise One page and save it Save it under a new name using the Save As option, or delete it. You must request to publish your Enterprise One page if it is going to be used by others. Select the Request to Publish icon, and then the Enterprise One page now appears under the Pending Approval heading. The Enterprise One page must be approved by an administrator. For more information on the user-defined objects approval process, please see the Approving User-Defined Objects tutorial. This completes the Creating Enterprise One Pages in Enterprise One tutorial.